Listen, I mean, this much of an improvement would have been better in the second half um, than that first half. Almost anything would have worked. Proud of the team for coming back. Um, much better in the second half. And after that first 45 minutes, that's all you can really ask, was improvement on that first 45 minutes. Um, and I think you can say majorly improved. Still moments where... You know, look, these guys are exhausted, man. That's that's uh, they put everything to that game. Both teams wanted to win, and it's hard to really imagine what what manager, what set of what set of players would be. It's hard to even say happier with the point. Both teams wanted to win it, but um, you know, I think it's I think it's a when you look at the game in totality, it's probably probably a result uh, that was quite fitting for the performance. I do, however, believe that their two goals. When you look at our goals, we really work through and, and slice them. I mean, Salah, and I spoke about, I'm going to get to Salah in a minute. I'm going to put that on pause. But that Foden goal, it's elementary. You know Foden's shooting that shot. He's not crossing it. Cover the blind spot of the keeper. There should be two, at least two red shirts on that far end to, to clear that out off the line or whatever. And I, that's just so frustrating. Then the second goal, De Bruyne, it's De Bruyne. There should be a man on him. And that was a ricochet goal. It, it is what it is. They all counts. But those two goals are hard to take, man. And um, they'll be talking about why Milner wasn't sent off. Um, and I think, you know, you can't really knock them for that. Uh, we definitely dodged a bullet there. That, the game could have changed in a totally different way if he was sent off. And I think they're right to say that. Um, but, I mean, their two goals, are just they, those are hard to take, man. Those are really, really hard to take. I thought maybe when they did the replay, um, the initial phase of the play, uh, I don't know if that was Foden or Grealish. Who, um, I think Grealish was off by then. Anyway, I thought maybe that phase of the play would have been offsides, and then um, Sterling's sort of in the eye, eye sight of the keeper. I thought, I'm, I'm just hoping for anything because to go up twice and to have them come back and tie it twice is just, it's hard to take, man. At home, this is a, this is a game, you know, three points would have been, you know, incredible, um, just like last week. But, it was two draws in a row. It doesn't make you too happy, but we're still undefeated. And, again, that second half, is, if, if nothing else, is something to be proud of. You know, after, after having that first half and the way we played, uh, how dominant City looked. Um, but Salah. Salah. Got to pause real quick. My, my niece is leaving. Bye, babe. Love you. Thanks for coming. Sorry about that. Um, I spoke about Salah, and he stepped up. Salah and Mane, but Salah with the assist and Salah with the goal. That that move he put on that defense, then Laporte with the, ah, get over here, bruh. And, and, and that's what I talked about at halftime. If, if Salah is that dude, he has to step up. Now, did I think he was going to get a goal and an assist? Man, the match for sure. There's no question. No, because in that first half, I, sometimes I forgot Salah was on the field, to be honest. I forgot Salah was on the field. We were allowed to... Enjoy our football one reason or another, more so in that second half. And Salah put on a, a, an incredible performance in that second half. He really did. Um, overall, I think the team did well. Certain players, I'm not too proud of their performance overall. Fabinho, I just thought, just wasn't really um, at his, just typical at the races, in my opinion. Um, Robertson is a guy that, if I'm going to war, I want him on my side. I want Robertson on my side. I mean, this guy... Just, just ride or die, dude. Ride or die, dude. Wasn't his best performance, but just his physicality, his attitude that he put towards his performance is just un unbelievable, unbelievable. So, um, big up Salah for stepping up, answering the call, answering the bell. I'm sure I wasn't the only one thinking that. We were worried about Milner. Um, I thought Klopp would put Gomez on, which I think he probably still should have done. But you know, it is what it is. Gomez finally did come on. Firmino didn't really offer much. I had to be honest. I, I just thought that. Maybe Jota staying on would have been better. Um, Jota is always um, a better goal threat than Firmino. That's just facts. You know what I mean? That's just facts. Now, I don't know if Klopp thought that we needed something more so in the midfield, some more physicality, better pressing. I don't know. But um, I, in hindsight, I don't know how good of a decision that was. Um, but, you know, again, look, both teams really played their, their, their behinds off, um, really went for this game. Um, really impressed with City, particularly in that first half. To me, their best player was um, yeah, I go either Foden or, or uh, Bernardo. I think Bernardo is a guy that 
you don't really think of him as a goal threat, although he can score. But just the work ethic, man, the the the, the, the dirty work he does for that team. That time when he just dribbled through our whole team on the first, literally our whole team, it looked like he dribbled through. Uh, unbelievable. Um, and then put the pass off. But, um, you know, this this game is always big. It's always a clash. A draw isn't a surprise. Um, even before the game, I thought that was highly likely. Um, not because it would be cagey or two teams would be scared. I thought both teams would go at it. But it's just the, the quality of both teams from back to front. I mean, when you, you try to put a, a combined 11, you know, it'd be, it'd be slightly difficult. Um, and, and the forward part of the pitch, as far as attacking, I don't think so. But uh, midfield back, it's, you know, both teams are just stellar. And I think it'll be but these two teams fighting for that crown. Chelsea's still there. Don't get it twisted. They're first right now, of course, because they won their game against Southampton. But um, this one's rough, man. I, as, as proud as I am in the second half, I'm still disappointed we didn't get the, the, the three points here because I think it was there for the take in, particularly in that second half. And um, in games like that, we've just got to be better at, you know, and, 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 and as far as in mindset um, in situations like that, because, again, those goals we conceded, don't have to do that, man. It just shouldn't be allowed. That, that sort of, um, you know, switching off or whatever. So, um, you know, another another international break, unfortunately. But, uh, but um, yeah, we uh, live to fight another day. You know, um, I am honestly, I mean, the way that first half was going, you know, if we didn't bring something out in the second half, um, it was going to be hard for us. You know, I see a lot of Liverpool fans on different channels throwing in a towel and saying City's going to win and we're all whatever. You know, I guess never walk alone means nothing. I mean, I, it just it doesn't, I don't, I, look, the first half was frustrating, but you don't just throw in the towel. Now, I said at halftime, look, if we don't change some things, we're in trouble and we could lose this game. If we don't change, was, was the key phrase. We changed some things, obviously. We just played better. I don't know, I can't, it's hard to really pinpoint what we necessarily changed. Um, I just think we, we did a bit of a rope dope in that first half, um, Ali style, just kind of just lean back, lean back. And then in the second half, we came out and we gave City everything we could and more. Um, and honestly, on the, on the, in my opinion, the way the second half went, yes, we probably should have had a man sent off. I think City are, are quite fortunate to get back in that game, to be honest. Um, and give them credit for doing so. But um, even even the, their manager looked like he was, you know, when we scored that goal shortly after the Suppose it or should have been, you know, sending off when Salah, you know, makes mince meat of the defense. Uh, it looked like Pep was was ready to just say, ah, you know, we were unlucky again. Everybody's against us. Should have got his side guy sent off. He was going to have his excuses ready. Um, but, you know, again, it's good to see him and Klopp embrace there at the end. And um, these games are always going to be massive. So it's a it's a mixed emotion for me, man, especially with another international break coming up. Um, but I am proud that we we we. Um, we, we improved our performance uh, to end the game. I can say that and that, and for that, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, but, you know, until we meet again with City. Anyway, enjoy the international break, guys. It's hot as hell out here in D.C. today. But uh, see you guys sooner and later.